Hey, hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World War 2 World at War where I'm still battling against the Allied forces I'm almost done with mainland Japan or at least I've taken care of it for this turn we've uh, taken care of outer Mongolia unfortunately these uh, partisans did arrive but I'll be sending another army over there in order to deal with it and probably one of these guys will go down as well I think Vladivostok around here is the only area where they have partisans and then at uh, Irkutsk but we're nowhere near that just yet either way uh, we've taken care of India and uh, need to send some more forces there first of all let's see I can't operate these guys because they're not in a On a rail line, I could send another unit over to Kunming and then up. Yeah, that's not too bad. So these guys will go there. Um, why are you? Yeah, okay, I need them on the factory itself. Seems like I can send my destroyers over to this location because the Allied forces have a submarine there, and well, I want to take it down. Let's uh, actually keep these guys at Singapore, which has excellent ports. I'll be uh, using those to repair my uh, my ships, definitely. All right. We uh, got our ass kicked by a couple of American aircraft carriers. So, well, I'm going to try to retaliate down here. Let's actually see. That's the first thing that I want to do so we know there is something here yeah. it doesn't matter if these guys go down to two because I, the, I need to see this this unit specifically and then look out for other aircraft carriers yeah there's one all right let's keep moving another one Okay, let's try to take down all of them. First of all, if I move you right next to it, at least I can see how much damage I'm doing. So I could destroy this in one go. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I move forward a bit and I'll attack this one. Seems like the interceptors are now gone. I'll try to uncover more American ships around this area. There are none. And that's a second carrier down. And the third one. These guys must not be at... Uh, ground mode. Or they are at Naval Tactical. Hmm. Okay, well... That's it for uh, those three American carriers. At least we gave it to them. So I'm not altogether too unhappy about how things went there. I mean, it could definitely have been worse. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go further towards the Society Islands. I mean, we did lose a Special Forces unit. That's true. But... Uh, yeah, and also a battleship, but they lost three carriers in exchange, so... Uh, okay, let, let's go, actually. <laughs> All right, landings at New Zealand have begun. 
And with me taking the port, I can potentially next turn land some other troops there as well. So these guys can repair and then I can land them on the next turn. I already put these guys in transports. Oh, I can already use this port? Mm, no. Oh yeah, it needs to, to be at 5, I think. Well, I'll see. Either way, let's get these guys underway there too. We know we can't really do anything about that, so... I'll just go for the... HQ. Ah, uh, the city gives supply itself, huh? That doesn't happen very often. Well, regardless, they're... These guys are still preparing, so they're not going to do a whole lot. And you guys, well, I'm not going to land out there or here. So I'll leave these guys in the port. Um, could get them to New Zealand as well, potentially. Yeah, let's do this. First to New Caledonia and then next turn I'm going to get them to New Zealand. So that New Zealand hopefully uh, will surrender soon. This is a core? That seems to be the case. Uh, they'll be going down and, and try to land there as well. Hmm. I do hope that these waters will be a little bit more safe now that uh, we've sunk three American aircraft carriers. But who knows what they'll throw at me still. I mean, uh, it's been two years since they joined the war, so I'm sure they're quite a lot more dangerous than they used to be. And where am I going to put you? I think these guys are also going to move down. And... I'll send them over to New Zealand. All right, good, good. Finally, we're also starting to get a little bit more MPP in order to do things. And the reason for that is, of course, that I'm not pulling off as many naval invasions anymore. So I don't need that much uh, MPP for new transports or uh, amphibious uh, landing transports indeed. The garrison, yeah, let's put them in a transport too. And for now, I'll put one over at the Mariana Islands because this is a national morale objective. And I'll also place one at Iwo Jima because that's also a national morale objective. I guess we could send a few over to these settlements over here because I don't want to lose them eventually ju to just uh, a few American raiders mm, yeah you're going over this port and I'll send this battleship down good Pretty much the entirety of my fleet I want to send over to New Zealand. And where can I use these the best? Probably, oh, I don't know it yet. I'll, I'll leave them there for now. And as for the Japanese, I'll just save up a little bit of points for anything else that I could potentially buy I can make five more carriers technically it's a lot either way that does take care of the Japanese forces let's go again towards Africa I want to send these guys back and I don't know why none of these are attached but I'll do that now except for the bomber probably because my forces ran ahead too far of these guys I'll see how it goes uh, with their supply but I'm sending these guys back to Alexandria and then hopefully towards the Brook Benghazi and maybe I can even hold Tripoli 
but I want to keep moving with these guys, so there's absolutely no way that... Uh, yeah, I, I just need these guys back, uh, back in Africa. Mm. Well, it's not exactly the best. And the likelihood that I'll actually take this is very small. I have to get these guys under the HQ as well. And we'll uh, see how my performance will be then. I, I want to retake Addis Ababa first. So probably going to send these guys over there. So supplies are now moving from Bombay only. And then down, huh? Well, I'm going to continue sending in the Africa Corps uh, further ahead to retake Tehran. If you can't repair it back up to 10, there's no reason to keep you there. Mm, question is, do I want to take this road and move on Karachi? Or do I want to send them up? I think I want to... I want to take Tehran and then move. I will just leave uh, the Syrian forces there. I think. Mm, I don't even need to upgrade them. But then, once it will become possible, I will operate. Let's see, because I need to get them a bit further yeah. If I send them to Baghdad now, I can probably operate them over to Tehran once I take take it. And after that, I kind of need to move down again with these forces because I don't want to declare war in Afghanistan. I'll just leave them. And I have to move through this here one road towards Karachi. So I, I might just as well advance with these guys and actually get into India from this side. Even though currently, it's only one core. Not really looking to move down here into the Middle East. Yeah, there are oil fields to take, which would be okay. But I, uh, I don't want to extend into this area first. First, I think my priority will be India. Which will already be challenging enough. Okay, so they can't attack this one. I'm going to move into Jerusalem itself, so these guys will be doing a little bit better. I'll keep trying to destroy the port as well. And then afterwards, uh, go after the city. This is actually a bit dangerous, but... If I ever want to take Cyprus, I'm going to have to take a few risks. And what I'll do with a little bit of luck, they can't see this unit, so they don't immediately go for that battleship. The American Navy might be around this area. So I'm a bit afraid it will go all the way to Cyprus. We'll see how that goes, though. Okay, fair enough. I think we're done there. Still have to reinforce these aircraft. And then I'm all set over here. I'm surprised we still haven't... Um, taking over all of this from Fichy France. Uh, well, nothing we can do about that though. Alright, let's take care of everything up here. Because actually... Hmm. I think here 
this. I can surround all the forces at Stalingrad. <clears throat> Always love those results. Uh, yeah, that seems to be quite, uh, quite the opportunity, right? Come on, please start dealing some damage. <laughs> Not to my forces. All right, let's switch these up. Good. back excellent okay so with these guys surrounded their supply should be a lot worse this HQ can't help them now I'll move days closer to Astrakhan and um, yeah, I, I hope I'll be able to hold this. It will be interesting to say the least. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So what I will have to do is move these over in here. It's the second time that I'm taking damage, but not them. Yep, gotta love this game. Uh, okay, let's cut you off. Close them in with the Italians. Now, how are you doing? Okay, great. I can send them back up to 10. And I'll just spread out a little bit over here in order to accommodate me destroying this core too. So, I'll uh, move around it. Maybe not necessarily in the most beautiful sense, but I think we got things covered like this. They can only go through here, and I don't really see how that's going to help them. I'm not attacking because if I take damage and not them, this attack is fairly useless. Okay, so they could technically move all the way through, or try to move through here, but I don't know how it works with their supplies. Uh, I can't attack with these guys anymore, so I'd rather just stick closer to everything they have here in order to have a little bit better supply. Their supply will be pretty poor regardless, so I'm kind of... Yeah. Okay, so you will go around as well. I need to get my units around them as good as possible. So mostly to the back. You're pretty much sticking here. I will actually reinforce you back up to 10 right now. And then set these guys over here. So they could go through this area, but because they're in poor supply, I don't think it will happen often. Okay, we'll have to see how I can deal with it. So far, this is the best I can do, but it doesn't look too bad. And hopefully that will divert a couple of forces away from Moscow. They have a huge stack of forces here still, so that, that's pretty rough. Okay, I still need to take care of uh, partisan activity around that area, which I'm also not too happy about. Because uh, I kind of have to move the artillery back and then these as well. And I currently don't have any garrisons that can actually deal with it. Um, no. 
So for the Germans, let's just at least purchase another four garrisons. Sure, that will do me well for now. And then I can start focusing upon that objective. Because it's winter, I think I'm probably best off just re uh, reinforcing those units that I can. Just getting both of these back up to 10 first. And actually just moving around Volkov for a bit. Hmm. Supposed to get pretty decent supply there, but we'll see how it goes. Not taking Volkov now for sure. All right, things out here are okay. We'll take Chem next turn, and then we're once again one step closer to taking Murmansk. Out here, though. Uh, let's see. Again, I'm trying to just attack the HQ, getting abysmal results. Hmm. Probably none of those attacks are very good, I guess. Well, for now, it's just a matter of holding the line and just attacking wherever I can. Reinforcing units wherever I can and I have the potential to at least attack these guys as well, or destroy those guys as well. Uh, but not like this. Right, first of all, pull you back, tank up in here. Nope. It's, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not my lucky day. I will attach you. Are they attached? They're not. And that's for the Italians once again. I'm... Okay, I do have to under wrap, so these guys are not gonna get destroyed anyhow. This turn, I might just as well just leave this space open and allow them to get in there. I'll see. This is not a useful attack. Fair enough. You could go up to ten. <laughs> to eight, huh? Nope. That's definitely not useful. Any luck? <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> I have uh, I've nothing to say here. I need to take a look at the um I have units everywhere there. So that's all fine. 
and yeah all right I guess that's it for the uh, German activity let's purchase some units I still need to take care of the submarines and the Navy uh, let's do that first send these guys back to ports These guys back up to 10. Can I upgrade the battleship? No. Still debating when to send these guys out. I don't know, really. and then I'll set these guys down here so that's pretty much all I can do for the German Navy let's see if we can purchase some units can go for some mechanized 170 no mobility all right let's just go for some panzer grenadiers and the Italians can purchase some some another army sure that's fine need to get more units for the Italians especially just to defend it Italy itself as well I'm starting to get a little bit afraid of any American landings there too so now that they've landed in Algiers the th the threat well, also because it's 1943 the threat of an invasion of mainland Europe is imminent and I'm gonna have to start worrying about it we're doing okay in Russia and hopefully with the surrounding of Stalingrad here we're uh, making a good step towards defeating the Soviet Union and potentially getting some of the units back to uh, France and, and Italy but I don't foresee them falling before 1944 anyhow so that's that's gonna be rough either way let's take a look at the submarine activity there's less and less submarines that I get to use every turn and you can go back immediately That's not very useful. Let's reinforce you back up to 10. And I could upgrade the garrison here. Why not? Up to 10 too. All right, that's that. So we're almost set only those three submarines out there and the rest has all been taken care of so let's ship it back to the enemy we'll see what happens Axis Raiders sink allied merchantmen near Melbourne we have all this area covered now okay Fair enough. Infantry weapons level two. Now that's 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 what I'm looking for here. Uh, all right. Pretty good. Wonder if the New Zealand forces will also surrender if we actually take it. Okay. Just they're taking care of a bunch of stuff first. They're shipping around plenty of units, apparently. Seems like we got a little bit of a stalemate going on in India, just like they had historically. 
Although I dare say that we've uh, well, we're doing at least reasonably well taking over those oil fields, and we'll see how much the contribute or what the contribution will be from the forces moving in from China. So the AI is thinking pretty hard here. <clears throat> I'm interested to see whether we'll get another naval engagement with uh, our carriers. It's a battleship. Okay, why would they attack a submarine with the battleship? I can hardly imagine that that's a good uh, exchange of MPP for the enemy. That, that makes a lot more sense. And, okay. I suggest a deal with the, the bombing runs for now. I wouldn't mind getting an air uh, an air force out there. Oh, come on, really. I certainly do get the feeling that they made the allies actually a lot stronger in this game than they had in the previous one. The AI is just as bad, but it, it's just, uh, it seems like their bombers are just doing that much more damage than my own. Uh, even though theirs are not really upgraded, it's, I think, so that's, uh, that's an interesting development. I don't know what they were thinking there, but that's that's not a, a good engagement, really. That went fairly well so far. Okay, even though this unit is in poor supply, it can still do this. Like, they're not getting supply from anywhere, so I'm, I'm very surprised that they are performing so well. I mean, I repaired this unit back to 10. That's fine, but... Okay, that went a little bit better. I'm surprised I didn't go for breakout attempt. But if it suits them, it's fine by me. Wonder if they'll try to repair the tanks. Okay. For these guys as well, they shouldn't be getting any supply, but I can hardly see what things are going on around there. They're starting to get a lot of T-34s. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, say goodbye to your whatever unit that is, unless they actually drop them there. Which they should, because they know they're going to be destroyed otherwise. Surprised they're swapping around these units. That's quite dangerous. Okay, more armies. Even after the surrounding of Stalingrad, these guys have a ton of units. Even 
even with uh, everything I destroy, they're constantly getting more. Even though it, their supply situation doesn't, or their MPP situation doesn't seem to suggest that they should get more troops all the time. Because they're pretty much only being able to spend around 200. I, I guess that makes it so that they have an, one army each turn, but still. Okay. Seems like we're in for a little naval engagement. With some American and British forces. I guess these survived. Good. And that's it for this turn. Whew. All right. Guess we'll be starting with a clean shade, uh, sheet. And I think also that I'll be uh, wrapping up the video here. Before, uh, or at least after doing this decision, among the many thousands of prisoners we have taken is a senior Red Army officer, General Vlasov, who is rapidly becoming a leading figure in promoting the anti-Bolshevik message to his fellow countrymen. There are already thousands of former Red Army soldiers serving our army, and we could make use of Vlasov to raise a, spe a specifically Russian corps to assist in our struggle against Stalin's, uh, Stalin's regime. With your approval, this full-strength core will deploy at Minsk for a cost of 100 MPP at 50 MPPs a turn for two turns. Would you like to authorize the formation of a Russian Liberation Army Corps? Notes. Raising this Russian force is a cost-effective way of increasing your armed forces, so it's recommended to say yes to this. And I will. Russian Liberation Army Corps formed at Minsk from Red Army deserters. And we get another HQ. Excellent. Okay. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to end the video here. So I want to thank you all for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode where we will once again continue the war effort. I guess uh, some interesting developments. We'll try to get the Society Islands. Continue my advancements in New Zealand. Try to destroy American forces out at sea. Fight in India, hopefully capture China soon, fight in Manchuria, we've encircled the Soviet units at Stalingrad, which apparently still get their supply from something. They don't seem to be all that worried about being encircled, which is interesting. These guys are mutually at zero, but not these. They don't seem to get supply from Stalingrad, so I don't know what's going on there. We'll see. Either way, uh, like I said, I'll continue the war in the next one. So take care and see you there.